Windows XP was a quite game-changing release of Windows that brought several new features to the table, and a good chunk of these are also technical features that are stuff like command line and like more system administration, which though are things that I'd probably be able, be able to tank around with during my normal time and normal day. I don't think that's probably what you're looking for. And second of all, the computer that I am using is uh, once again the same computer as last year. The HP Compact 7005 Pro. This computer has also been developing a bit of an issue lately where when I've been booting up Windows XP, it's been locking up and just freezing and not finishing the boot up. So I don't know if it's gonna happen on camera, just, it's just, you know. So I'm going to go. Start the computer up. Hey, yeah, this is a uh, XP Surface Pack 3 with with basically all the updates still. So yeah. And well, looks like it booted successfully. It should. Because this is like one of my best XP systems. And, um. Yeah, as you can tell, I. I mean, I didn't really change this thing a lot. And well, yeah. And also, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the control panel and use the Windows XP sound scheme. Save as... Ah! Windows default. Actually, no, first I'm going to go see. I think this has everything, but with also the other things. Yeah, so this is actually uh, brings us into a good point of the video. The control panel, which, though the control panel is uh, not new to Windows XP, it did receive quite a bit of an update. As you can see, we have a task pane. So yeah. Now I'm not going to go through all the stuff in here. A legacy update is something that is pretty interesting and it will get its own video later in the year even though i'm not the first content creator to talk about it in fact literally everyone's talked about it so yeah system this is a we are running a amd athlon 2 x2b24 at 3 gigahertz and then we have 1.75 gigabytes of ram the other thing that i'm going to touch up on here is security center which is basically built in antivirus. Uh, uh, kind of. It's more of like a general home base for um, your system security. But this was actually new to XP. And while we have multiple antivirus programs, as you can see, let's see how many. Well, we have a a AVG, um, uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. I think that's pretty much it. Something I'm not going to cover on, in this video is Internet Explorer because Internet Explorer is much more of a mistake the older versions of Windows you get, but yeah. So yeah, now let's go to my computer here. This was supposed to be a drive for our, or a partition for Windows Vista, but that never happened. We have... Uh, But yeah, we have the document thingy here. So we're going to go with notepad here. It's fairly simple. I'll just, you know, paint. And good old, you know. I'm actually gonna do that because I don't wanna. 
けど。untitled.bitmap calculator Yeah, there's that. And calculator was not responding there for a second. We can see a hundred in a hexadecimal, which is a uh, sixty-four. Three squared, that is and yeah, then we can just so that's calculator. We have pinball. Which is gonna be one of the actual one times I'm actually gonna play a game on camera. I want, I, I want music. Ah, oh, yes. Good old MIDI. Oh my gosh, this sounds very terrible, by the way. And that's because I'm using, like, 10 year old speakers. Or, like, 9 year old speakers, at least. They're incredibly old speakers and they sound terrible. Because I use them way too much. Alright, now I'm. Actually, I wonder. Yeah, alright. It sounds so crunchy. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this game. Oh, right now. So let's see. That wasn't my best score. Well, yeah, that was a pretty good score. Well, other games out there. There's solitaire. You know, this is not as intensive on speakers, and I'm glad because I, because honestly, of anything in my setup, I think that probably one of the most newest components has to be replaced. And one of the newest components in my entire setup is my speakers, which I got back in 2014, and uh, I mean, and they sound very crunchy. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> All right now. Well, that was fairly quick. I'm going to start a new game. <laughs> And yeah, I could probably play stuff like this for hours on end. And plus, I've got more games on here. 
namely Age of Empires and Toho, but I'm pretty sure this computer in particular could probably run tons of different games, as it's got a processor that probably could maybe run Windows 10. It probably could also run modern Linux, but I'm not going to try to uh, test that because this is an XP system and I'm going to keep it that way. Though if I continue to have problems, I'll probably upgrade this to 7 because this is a pretty good computer. And that's only a maybe because, well, yeah, this is because I don't really have many XP computers that can rival this computer as a sheer performance. And yeah, you can now double click to, um, actually, I'm not sure if that was, that might have been already in here in like 2000, but I'm not sure. I'll probably figure it out by the time, actually, I may not be at that point where I'm acting by uh, at the video, but you know. Well, I don't think we can win this, so I'm not gonna try. We also have Windows Media Player, which, this is Media Player 11. Which has, which originated from Windows Vista, I think, but yeah. And because I didn't get to it, we're gonna have the startup thingy. I'm only gonna play that once. We also have, um, a bunch of other thingies here. We have the Windows XP Tour. And well, yeah, I'll probably make an entire video about that sometime in the future. We have Address Book. New contact. Ah, ah. There's also Outlook Express. No, you don't want to compact the messages. And there's also Windows Movie Maker. Actually, no, let's go to a document here. Gonna uh, open up in Winamp. If I can close out of it, I'm gonna go close out of it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Use that. Add title. Ah, done. Add title to movie. The video effects. Sped up double. Ease in. View video transition. Make titles or credits. Credits at the end. And yeah, let's see this thing. Well, first I want to save. Ah! That's pretty low quality. Credits. Made by me. Save to my computer. It's gonna be a pretty simple video to export. And well, yeah, that's probably gonna be the last thing that we're gonna cover because, well, yeah.
I'm not covering Internet Explorer because it is uh, not something that you want to go mess around with on old versions of Windows. Especially since I have a network card driver for a Wi-Fi USB. So, yeah. And with that, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye! I can't have, come on, shut down now! <laughs> Alright now, uh, I'm gonna stop talking at this point, of, oh! Now, bye!